grainy. I literally just, it's like everything just top. Brows done, the eyes is done. So, um, I feel my face a little bit dry, so I'm going to set my face with my Sasha Fix It spray. Get some hydrate in my face, and then I'm going to use the Edos Bay Lip Balm in coconut to prime my lips. And I'm just going to use my Murphy R2 brush to press in that setting spray that I use all over. All right, so let's get into this video. <laughs> but before we start about my hair, I did want to mention that I had filmed this video before. I'm going to take my Maybelline Matte Plus Poreless Foundation in 340 in Cappuccino for foundation. Need some more. And then I'm gonna use my 204 um, Real Technique brush to apply my foundation. So, uh, yes guys, I did film this video before. I already edited my pop-up button, my thumbnail, um, editing on King Master. I upload the video, start putting in all my description, my heading of my video, my tags, my end, what do you call it? the end screen and then one time to add my um my card my time card i realized my video halfway through was had some kind of a grain grainy i literally just it's like everything just stop every single thing just Top that day I just couldn't believe what I was seeing it, from a halfway until the ending the video was having some grainy effect I was like oh my god I talk so much I explain in detail so much and this is what I'm getting <laughs> so yeah so now I'm taking the Black Radiant True Complexion Cream Contour Palette, medium to dark, and yes, the swatches are there because like as I mentioned, I did do a whole video on this palette and if you are a YouTuber or content creator, you should know what I'm feeling right now. You have no idea what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> this is like hard work, you know, you, you film the video, you edit the video, you wait for it to upload on King Master, wait for it to upload on YouTube, do the description, do everything, ready to just press, you know, public and publish. yeah so this palette <laughs> and um we're going to take the center then i'm going to use my murphy metal plate and also my um spatula to remove the product of the plate uh -huh. just let me show you see and then I place in it on my metal plate. Now I find it's a little bit dry, 
So I'm going to use my setting spray from a Sasha, you know, just to warm it up a little bit. And then I'll back to my spatula and just mix it in to get that nice creamy effect, you know. You see? You see the difference? Now it's creamy now. All right, so now that is done, I am going to take this brush from Murphin R30 to apply area underneath my eye, my highlight area. And it's basically not highlight at all. It's a little bit dark though, but it's okay. I will use my highlight to give me that nice highlight area, you know, the center, my forehead, and then I'm taking my beauty blender to blend that out. So it definitely didn't highlight for me, but it really gave me that nice coverage underneath my eye. You can see define my nose area and my clipped bow very nicely. So now I'm just going to add just a little bit of highlight underneath my eye. And then I am taking my Juvia's Place um, concealer in number 13. For that and just want to highlight my nose just a little dab just a little dab on my lips and then that's it All right, as you can see, it's, I get another bright underneath my eyes. So that's what I want, but don't get me wrong, it did cover a nice full coverage underneath my eye. But if you're going for a highlight underneath the eye, of course you need a lighter, a lighter shade than this. So this is good. And so let me tell you about my hair now. Now, a quick little story time. Um, I've been suffering from hair loss ever since I was in high school, but it wasn't so dramatic like now. It well, it started it process around my high school days. Now, um, the reason why I was having hair loss is because of my eczema. I put a time card on top so it will take you direct to that video where me explaining to you um, how I get eczema and how I treat my eczema and learn how to maintain it after so many years. So because one, I have eczema and second, I was pulling my hair back for so many years in worn and braids and weave, it started to go really, 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 really bad. Like really bad. Like I didn't have nothing all here and here. I didn't have anything so that's why I stopped um, weaving my hair, braiding my hair and putting my hair in one and even dyeing my hair. I stopped all that. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm sorry about the dogs, I don't know why. So the next we're going to reach for that contour part right there and then I'm going to just um, wipe off my spatula and then I'm just placing it right there in the middle part and it's not so creamy so once again I'm taking my fascia setting spray spraying that and then I'm going to 
reach back from my spatula and then mix it all in and you can see it have that nice um, creamy that's what we look so we're looking for so yes yeah, so that's the story on why let me just make sure that if my eyes not creasing um, my process in why I cut my hair so I am going to take my Real Technique brush in Z205 to apply this contour area. It was dark, but... Then I'm taking the other side of my beauty blender to blend out my contour area. So back to my story. So yes, yeah, so that's the reason why I had hair loss. And then I always wanted to cut my hair, but I didn't have the encouragement to do so until one morning I wake up, wasn't planned. I just decide, you know what? To hell with it I'm going to cut my hair so I take a scissors and I start from the root here and I just cut off every single thing <laughs> it wasn't planned and I wasn't like thinking too much about it because if I think too much about it I won't be successful like doing everything like cutting everything off so I just start trimming <laughs> And then after it was done, I didn't like it. I honestly didn't like it at all. Then I sent pictures for my family and in-law and they like it. I was like, oh God, you like it, but I don't like it. I don't like it. But yes, so my sister-in-law bring me by this hairdresser and then she like level it off and then when she was done with it i was like okay i can do this <laughs> i can do this all right so i finish with my contour area i find it's dark for me but it's it's applied very nicely gone very creamy and nice because i add a setting powder setting spray to um do that and it applies very nicely i just find it's too dark for me but no all right we'll make it work so all right so underneath my eye is a little starting to crease a little bit so i'm going to take the part where i apply and then start setting it underneath my eye with my beauty blender Alright, so I already set on with my eye. Oh my god, I really like this. Guys, you like it? I like it. Alright, so after I set on with my eye, the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm not going to use the this one because I more want to focus on this one to see if it's really good. So the next thing I'm going to use, I'm going to take my Anastasia bronzing powder in mahogany. Very nice bronzing powder. And just a little do go a long way because Anastasia products are very pigmented. One dab, it's like it can do your whole face. So and so yes, yeah, so I've been using wig ever since I left high school. 
and um, I never stopped using me. I did try over the years um, to try back doing braids and the twist braids and weave and it was just getting worse. So I just, after a while, I just say, ah, no more, enough is enough. <laughs> so um, when I cut my hair, it's like the reason why I cut my hair is from starting from scratch, from day one, like when I was born, I have like this year. So just so I can treat it properly. Now, yes, I've been treating it when I used to have wig, but I wasn't really serious in treating it, you know? Um, I just used to, do, okay, I just put an ingrow, do something, you know, for my hair, but it wasn't helping because I wasn't consistent, you know? I just say, okay, I have a wig on on my head and nobody don't know um, what I'm going for in front of my hair, so that was it. But um, that day is like, I wake up, I look at the, my, in the mirror and I was like, no, I have to, take myself seriously i have to take my appearance seriously you know if it wasn't for wig what am i going to do how am i going to comb my hair and treat my hair and take good care of my hair you have to take good care of yourself so that's one day i'm applying the anastasia so that's one day i decided to you know what it's time it is time <laughs> So after that, I am taking my Anastasia um, Blush Trio, and this one is called um, Beauty, no, Berry Amore, and normally I like to mix um, Exotic and Violet together, these this two together, to apply my brush. I really like how this looks. Sometimes I use either or by itself, but I like mixing it. And if I want to go for a very soft, soft, natural type of glam today, sometimes I use a desert, but most of the time, violet and exotic. And once again, a little do go a long way with this blush. See, a little do go a long way. So after that, for highlights, I am taking Paradise Glow from Posh Culture. Very pigmented, again, this highlight. And I am taking my Juvia's Place brush. Just a highlight brush. And then I just go just a little bit. You know? So yeah guys, that's the reason why I cut off my hair. It wasn't planned. The people who cut their hair, I will admit, they are strong. They are very strong. It takes a lot for you to cut off your hair. You really do. And that is what you have to live with. Unless if you want to put wig all the time. You know? So I'm doing the exact look that I did in my video that gets bad editing. <laughs> I don't know what you call it, bad editing or, or bad something, but I don't know what caused, comment down below and let me know what caused a video to do that. Because when it's uploaded and everything, it was fine. But as soon as I finish, I, reach, I watch the whole video. I press um, save and then I upload it on my YouTube and then when I upload it on YouTube I realized it had that so what I realized I didn't look at the video after it upload um, and save on your on your laptop or your phone I didn't look at the video after that I just like okay it's saved everything done upload on YouTube and that was a bad move that I do. <laughs> so now I'm taking back my Sasha and setting powder and then I'm just going to carve off my cheekbones. I never used to do that. 
I don't know what making me start doing that, but I really like how it looks. Yeah. And yeah, guys, that 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 was it. That's why I cut off my hair, my story time, and it took me a while to accept that I cut my hair. Like basically, when I cut it off, it took me like maybe three weeks. Uh, it took me three weeks to accept it, and all when I was filming a makeup artist advisory. Three weeks ago, I had a wig on my head, and it took me that long to accept it. Actually, it took me really, really long to accept. I cut off my hair, and then after I was like, you know, it's the new normal. I just have to accept it. I'm taking my NYX liner in brown. And if I forget to mention any of the products, all products will be down in the description bar. And then I am taking my Juvia's Place in Miner lipstick. Then I'm going to dust off this um, setting powder. Like this is a goff look you know not too much fall but fall is like everything like dark lipstick you know light makeup dark makeup orange yellow then what I like to do I work backwards I like to take my setting powder from Revlon in 375 in toffee to set the rest of my face. Now, if you're wondering, you didn't see me prime my face, that's what I do. I use my setting powder to prime my face. I always do that, so very rare. You see me use something else. And then the last thing I'm taking back my highlight powder from Posh Culture and then I just do you know something here and here okay. and then I set my face with my Murphy Continuous Mist Fave that is the final look i hope that you enjoyed this um, video i hope that you enjoyed my story time of being a content creator what we go through being a content creator especially on youtube and also why i cut off my hair so it's a new normal for me so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit this notification bell for what's popping with chanelle 767 until the next time my beautiful people Mwah. peace love always bye